is Kim from Key Diamond Paints. I'm going to do a post review for my Moon Wave diamond painting. This was, or was, this is a 30 by 60 full round. And I got it from, you know, it's like he who shall not be named. I Some people try these names. I'm so impressed by them. I'm not trying it. I'm, I'll put it up on the screen for you. Um, where I purchased it from. So what you're looking at right here is, of course, all my leftover drills. Um, this is just not an accurate representation because I substituted out, right, with my ABs, I substituted out some colors and I then used some in other places and, you know, it just got a little bit crazy in there. So I will just say this is 838. There's two little guys left in there. But honestly, I wasn't ever worried about running out. I know that seems like how could you not be? Just because of the way the painting was moving with the colors, um, I knew I was going to be fine. Uh, the other is, oh, I think that was it. Oh, and then I had an entire bag left of 648. And here's how many I had of that one. So plenty, plenty. I had plenty left. Some of these things, there's just a ton left. Pretty happy with, pretty happy with it. I was happy with the grill, drills, grills, excuse me. Some of them I'll have, I'll put a picture in, but some of these are so beautiful. They look wet. You know, they're so shiny. They they look wet. They're so pretty. And it had this blue. There were two different color blues. 518. The other one was 8 what? 813. And see how it just... They're so shiny. I was really happy with them. Uh, what was I going to say about that? About the oh, the trash. Sorry. That's where I'm going with this. The trash. So now a lot of this is not trash trash. This is because I was changing out colors and I was just throwing stuff here and there. So, of course, the most trash was 310. And you know what? They were either concave or convex. You know, the bottoms were either curved in or cupping. But... Let me see, where's my 310? See how much there is left. I didn't have to use a single drill that I didn't want to. Oh, look at how sparkly there. I didn't have to use a single drill I didn't want to. I threw out everything I didn't want, and I was left with plenty. So there were 30 colors, and here's the thumbnail. Let me push this aside, and I'll pull out the canvas. Okay, here it is. So pretty. I'm going to give you a couple of different views so you can really get an idea of the sparkle on this. Um, I used three, three ABs and two sparklers from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. I'll put all that information up for you. Um, they were so beautiful. I really love the ABs. They just blend in so well. They add so much. Whereas a sparkler really stands out, right? The rhinestones, they really stand out. Let me show you. So here is the original sparkler. Those, I'm going to take you for a little ride here. Oops. Those are the stars. Well, these, these stars. Let's see. There you are, that's better. These stars. This right here is 310 AB. And I said before, uh, I just love the look of both of them in the night sky because it really gives you that depth of stars, right? Some are closer, some are farther away. 
Then here's what I end up doing for the moon. I'll put, I'll insert a picture. I took it before I changed it. I had a lot of uh, sparklers into the center here and I just didn't, it just wasn't blending. This, I love this. This is the Sunshine Sparklers, the 434AB, and then the other colors that came in the canvas and I just used them to blend. I'm almost thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I did the entire thing like this edge, you know, real confetti like that? I don't know. But I, I really like how it turned out like this. So let me go down. And again, you can see this is the 414. If I get you in at an angle, the 414 ABs. And here again is the 434. So there was 434 and 436 and 437 in this painting. And mostly up at the top here, what I substituted the 434, this is DMC, was the 436. Until you got down to the bottom. And in the bottom here, then you finally had the 434. And so I could substitute it. Not that it matters. It's so abstract. Oh, hold on. Let me get you up a little higher. Hold on. There you are. That's a good view. Didn't that turn out so beautifully? I'm so happy with it. I'm happy with the canvas, all the drills, um, just everything about it turned out really well. So now there is some fraying in the canvas. Edge, you can see that right there. But honestly, I'm gonna cut the edge off, so fray away. All right, let me take you back down again. Okay, here's another view. Um, I just wanted to talk really quickly about, I just showed you this. So here's the original sparklers that were as the stars. Here are the sunshine sparklers that I used around the moon. Here are the 310 AB. Again, these were used as uh, stars. Aren't those really pretty? Um, here are 414. I love these. The 414 and then the 434. These are awesome. I love this color. Oops. So those were all the special ones that I used. And again, this is from, let me see if I can get this whole thing in here. Diamond Painting with Sparklers. Um, Tina Burney's shop. I'll link it for you um, so you can go and purchase some on your own. This is why I, I really wanted to do this canvas. I know a lot of us, we see there are companies that have ABs in um, their kits. Uh, one or two ABs. But the canvases are, you know, expensive. There are other companies that have all rhinestone. I saw one over Christmas that was, I really believe it was rhinestone, AB, and regular drills. I Just so amazing to have these combinations. But some of these canvases are very expensive. So this turned out to be, um, the canvas itself was $11.90. That's for a 30 by 60, full drill, 30 colors. Now the original sparklers are $3 and the sunshine sparklers are $5. And in these bags, that's 1,400 sparklers in the bag. Then the ABs are $3 each. So the total then for this painting would be $28.90. However, I just want to say about that is that look at how much I have left. Look at how many more paintings I'm going to be able to do with these. So although if you want to say that's the total for this canvas, I mean, really, I'm going to get one or two more 
uses out of every single one of these bags. I think that's even better. I'm all into the customs, right? I'm into the custom paintings. Now I'm into, you know, the custom drills. So you can make it your own. That's I just love that about this now. Just to be able to purchase my own ABs. Because I too, I was looking at some of these canvases. Oh, I just, I wanted the canvases just to get the ABs. I just want to see what it looks like. And now that I can just purchase them, such a reasonable price. $3 a bag. Great. Absolutely great. Throw them on everything. Sparkle up everything. So I guess that's all I have to say about this. I'm very happy with this canvas and how it turned out. I love my ABs. I, I had a plan. It didn't... The moon didn't work out the way I planned it. I think I did three different... Try, you should have seen these. This is this yellow kept pulling them out and they're just flipping. They are all over this place now. All those yellows are all over because <laughs> I kept pulling them out and they keep popping everywhere um, and changing it. So there would be a lot more yellows left over if I hadn't thrown them everywhere. But let me zoom you back out. Okay, there is Moon Wave and I'm on to my next project now. So I'll have to start kidding that up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.